Yo, what is up guys? My name is Encrypted and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, uh, I'm making a little bit of an address video uh, on like the last video I made. Well, the video before the last video I made. Uh, basically, I made this mob grinder video slash mob farm video and basically it shows you guys how to build a mob farm with tiers on it and you know it's pretty helpful for survival because you're able to you know get a lot of mob resources such as gunpowder uh you know like armor if zombies are wearing it arrows bones and string and all those you know good important items that you can only get from mobs and this video it it's actually going pretty damn good right now if i'm being honest i think it's almost at like 500 views or like 400 or something like that it's got like 17 likes it's only got one dislike it did pretty good and uh there's only one downside with it a lot of the comments on there are saying that you know it doesn't work or there's some flaws with it or bugs and i believed them at first i saw you know those comments i felt really bad and i went in and i you know tried to help anyone in the comments that you know, we're having troubles with the spawner, which I kind of assumed someone would have a problem with it. I didn't expect this many people to have problems with it. Uh, so I went in and I tried to help people in the comments. I gave them some basic tips and things. And um, I knew that mine was working. And that was like my whole point pretty much in every conversation I'd have with anyone. Uh, I just kept saying like, well, you know, mine works. So there's obviously something, you know, up here. Uh, if yours isn't working, you know, why is mine working? It was kind of that whole, you know, thing. And... Uh, sure enough, in this video, I'm showing you guys, they do work. Um, I actually ended up making another one tonight just to be certain that, you know, I didn't do something weird or, you know, I didn't mess up the tutorial. And I, I promise, guys, from what I'm seeing, they do work. Now, if I could have any solution that's a little more in-depth as to why yours aren't working, um, I actually, I wrote this in the comments. I pinned it as well on my old video. If you want to go look at it, you can. But me and my friend were actually, uh, you know, studying these grinders and kind of like taking a deeper in-depth look at them, trying to figure out what went wrong with a lot of people's grinders. And there's one thing, there, well, there's a few things we noticed that, you know, were helping mine, I think, that maybe some people might have missed. Uh, in the tutorial, I did say to build it over water. And I said in the tutorial to do that because, you know, you can get fish to spawn and all that stuff. Um, but that's not the only reason you should build it over water, and this is my fault for not saying this in that video, but you need to build it over water because mobs can't really spawn in water. There's only one kind of mob that really can, and that's a drowned. Uh, and drowns, they spawn in there pretty frequently, but there's not enough of them to, like, flood the whole damn thing. You know, there's only a few in there, so you can still get tons of other hostile mobs to spawn above it. So you were supposed to build it above the ocean, mainly to kind of, you know, lower the spawn rate of hostile mobs below the grinder that was the kind of the big point there i didn't say that in the video i'm sorry i didn't even really think about it until today but that is a good point you need to make sure you build it over water um don't build it above land and the other thing this kind of ties into that don't build it close to land either don't build it close to the ground at all build it as high up as you can um don't go to the block limit obviously if you do that you can't build um, but do it somewhere around like Y coordinate 190 or Y coordinate 200. Somewhere around there was my sweet spot. Um, because you have plenty of room left to, you know, build additions to it. And it's definitely high up enough to keep mobs from spawning. Because if you build it too close to the ground, mobs are going to spawn in caves and, you know, on the ocean floor. And they're going to spawn below the ocean in caves. And, and that's just going to ruin the spawn rate. And you don't want that. So if any of you did build this close to the ground, that's probably a big problem you're having. Uh, they're not going to spawn as much, if at all, if you build it close to ground. There's just too much stuff in the game at that point. So those are two big tips. Above water, high up, and uh, not close to the ground at all. And there were some more tips. Uh, let me think. What were the others? Uh, oh, okay. So this might sound kind of dumb, but I've seen it before. I actually have a comment on one of my old videos. Someone said this. Uh, so I'm just going to repeat it make sure your game is on a higher difficulty than easy or peaceful. Um, easy would probably work. It's not going to be a fast spawn if it's on easy, I doubt, but it would be fast enough. Uh, I would put it on normal or hard, if I'm being honest. If you're just going AFK and you're just going to let you know mobs spawn and rack up resources, put it on hard mode. They're going to spawn a lot. They're going to spawn very frequently, and you're not going to die because they're just going to fall down and you know drop and die. They're not going to hurt you. 
Um, just make sure you're in a, an enclosed area so you don't get killed by phantoms or anything if you're going AFK, but put it on hard mode. Uh, they'll be spawning quickly, or at least normal mode. Normal or hard, but I'd recommend hard. Hard was getting a lot of spawns for me. Uh, so that's one thing. Another thing is tiers. I want to say they matter, but ironically enough, the farm that I built, it only had one tier, and it was, like, pushing mobs out like crazy. Um, I don't know why that is. You would think that the farms that have tiers in them would actually spawn faster, but for some reason the one tier farm was spawning them quicker. So maybe if you do a one tier farm, that'll help you out more. Um, I'm not certain on that though, but I do have two tier farms. I have two different farms that are two tiers. I have one farm that's a one tier. The one tier farm was spawning them fast. The two tier farms weren't spawning them as fast. Uh, another thing, oh this is a big thing, this is a big thing. You can't be too close to the spawner. You just, you can't. If you're too close to it, they're not going to spawn. You have to make sure you're at least, like, I'd say 15, 16 blocks away. Uh, so if your funnel that you made, that if you made the funnel 25 blocks long or more, um, then you should be good. You could probably stand at the bottom of it, and they'll still spawn above you. But if, you're, if you made a short funnel, you're going to have to go somewhere else and stand. But you can't go too far either. You have to stay in the area so that they're going to spawn, but you can't be too close, because if you're too close, they're not going to spawn. Uh, if you're in the same room as them, they're not going to spawn. So make sure you're keeping your distance from these guys. you got to make sure they're spawning. Uh, also, this is a dumb you know, thing. I feel like a lot of people think I'm uh, you know, stupid for saying this, but I just want to make it clear. It, there cannot be any light at all in the spawner. If you went in creative and you put down like a light block in there, uh, you got to remove that. If you put a torch in there or if you left holes in the ceiling or the floor, you can't do that. you got to make sure it's pitch black in there. They can't spawn unless it is pitch black. Now, I know it sounds like I'm treating you like a baby saying this stuff. I promise I'm not. These are easy, simple mistakes to make. Some of these things you wouldn't even know unless someone told you. Uh, I totally understand that these grinders are hard for you know some of you to make. They're not working right. I really, really apologize for that. I just wanted to make this video to prove that it does work. I'm not just trying to scam you guys out of a grinder for views. I'm not just trying to get watch time. I promise I would never, ever do that. I genuinely wanted to make a good mob farm video for everyone to watch. And I thought it worked really good, and I really like it, and I still think it works good. It, it works perfectly fine. I'm probably showing you footage right now of it working. Um, but I, I really don't know what to say. If these solutions I gave you aren't working, I really don't know what to say. Because I have the same update as you guys. you got to remember, Buzzy Bee's update, if that's the update that killed this uh, grinder, then it should have killed mine too, and it didn't. Mine's still working just fine. Uh, so I would say, if it's still not working, I would say give it one final shot. Go to my video, watch the whole thing just through and through, make sure you don't miss any piece of information I give, build it block per block, do every little tip I give you, and it, it should work. But if it doesn't, it doesn't, I apologize. You can dislike the video if you want, you can unsubscribe, I really do apologize if it doesn't work, if it's annoying you, but uh, I really, really wish I could just snap my fingers and make it work. Um, I was even thinking maybe I could come into someone's world and, you know, record it, record myself building it for you so, so I can show you, like, it does work. Um, but anyways, guys, with that being said, though, I did want to make this video just to address that. Uh, I probably won't ever do a video like that again because uh, it's never going to be as big of a deal, but a mob spawner is a big deal. I mean, you spend an hour putting it together, you expect it to work, and when it doesn't work, the guy that made the tutorial kind of looks like an asshole for, you know, uh, giving you a faulty product, and uh, I assure you it's not faulty, that's why I'm making this, I wanted to prove that it's, it definitely does work, um, maybe you just built it wrong, or maybe, you know, you just didn't know one of these tips, maybe I didn't explain it well enough, but whatever the reason, we're going to fix it, we're going to get this going, uh, hopefully this video did help you out though, this was a video strictly for the people that have hard, that, if I can speak, that have had a hard time building this thing, and that have had some issues, uh, again, I apologize a thousand times. I'm really sorry that you had problems with it. I hope this video does help you out, and please let me know below if it did or if it didn't. I still want to know if it did help you out or if it didn't. Don't worry. I am very open to criticism. But uh, anyways, guys, with that being said, I think I've talked enough. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Have a great new year, and good luck building the spawner. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.